installing a floor around tubes. Grab the following from the toolkit. A knife, a pencil, tape, a silicone caulking gun and a jigsaw or a butterfly drill. Don't be discouraged by radiator tubes when installing your laminate floor by yourself. There's an easy way to nicely finish off the piece around the tubes as well. Always start with the underlay. Cut out the underlay around the radiator tubes and ensure that the empty spaces are filled up. Fasten everything with some tape. Place the laminate floor up against the tubes and use a slat to draw how far the tubes are from the wall. Take the measurement from the center of the tubes. This piece of flooring will come against the wall behind the tubes. Then saw on the indicated line. Click the smaller board onto the longer one that will lie on the other side of the tubes. This way, you can immediately draw a reference point on both boards where the tubes will come in the width. Professional tip, use a piece of surplus to draw your sawing lines. It's there anyway. Loosen the smaller board and start sawing on the larger board. Cut half a tube diameter twice in the place where you drew the reference point. Better too large than too small. The golden rule is your tube diameter plus 16 millimeters, just as with the other expansion joints. Now you have to do the same on the smaller piece, but it can move a bit during sawing. A professional tip. Click the small piece onto the longer board and secure with a third. This way, the smaller piece will not move. Cut out the rest of the tube shape and unclick everything again. Move the longer board against the radiator tubes and click secure with the small board. Secure tight with the tapping block and crowbar. Then place the rest of the floor. If the holes around the tubes are a bit too large, then you can fill them up with expanding foam. Need more tips? Take a look at the other Quick Step tutorials.